Hello. Welcome to the James Hall Museum of Motoring. That's my job. Sorry. Then best you lead the way. The James Hall Transport Museum opened in 1964. A wonderful museum where visitors, young and old and in between, will find something that will fascinate and truly resonate with them. This is clearly where it's at. Sharon, you are the front line. Yes. I walk in. In fact, I was standing my, in your position and you told me you're in charge. charge. Tell me what you do here on a daily basis. I'm a museum kite. I welcome school kids. I'm, I welcome everyone that walks into the museum. And especially with young kids, they're very excited. Some haven't heard about the museum, especially with old people as well. So who's got a bigger smile, young kids or older people? Children. Are you sure about that? Yes. What about the 70 year olds that come here and say, I used to own that, I used to own that. That's what I remember growing up. Okay, we do find them. There is some older guys in the museum right now walking around and the, you know, the uncle was saying, you know what, I've been on the farm. He was, you know, he was explaining about cool. the farm and what they had on the farm. The buses especially that went around town. What and is so clear for me walking around is there's an energy there's a pride, yes. there's a passion. Yeah. This museum means a lot to the people involved with it. When it comes to horsepower, you have a choice. You have horsepower or you have kilowatts. When last were you privileged enough to see a classic, beautiful green Mercedes like that? A red Porsche? even a beautiful parking meter. Look at this incredible white Opal Cadet. Not to mention the classic Love Bug. These are incredible, incredible classics we're looking at. It really does take a team of passionate staff to keep this collection looking so pristine. We spoke to Mandla to see what it takes to keep this collection looking as beautiful as they do.